Hi, welcome back. This video is for students and parents to show you how to complete a Kami assignment that has been assigned through Google Classroom on your iPad. So I'm on my iPad. I want to go down to the Google Classroom app. I'm going to click that. I'm going to find the class for that teacher. And I'm going to go down to Classwork in the middle of the page. Now for this example, I have two set up, one with links and one without links. I'm going to click on this Kami example number one with links, and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, we open the first assignment. We see two attachments. The first attachment will be some directions on how to complete this assignment. The second attachment is actually a direct link to open this with Kami. So let's click that second link, and I'll show you what that looks like. Once you click the link, you're going to see this pop up, and you want to open it with Safari. If you get some more pop-ups, you want to make sure you authorize Google Drive. I'm going to do that now. And you may get some other pop-ups that ask you if you want to allow Kami to have access to your Google Drive. And you want to keep saying yes for those. So I'm getting this pop-up again. I'm going to hit authorize Google Drive. And if you see a box that says recognize text, you can say no thanks. Okay, now that we can see the worksheet that we're supposed to complete for the teacher, on the left hand side I have some options. I can draw on this clicking the drawing button and then I can pick my color. After you pick your color you can pick the size where it says number six with a down arrow. If I click that I can choose the size of the line I'm going to draw with. So right now I'm drawing with a pink line. If I need to move up on the screen I can use two fingers on the screen and I can move it up to see different parts of this screen. I can also pinch and make it a little smaller to fit it on the screen. So the next thing you would do is fill this out and it says draw a line from each number to the matching set of objects. So I'm going to draw a line from number five down here to where I see five objects. If you're doing something like this you can pick different colors for the lines. I could pick blue for the next line and then I can draw my next line. So let's do that one more time. I'm going to click on drawing. I'm going to go down to the colors. I'm going to pick my color. This time I'm picking red. After you're done picking your color, click drawing again. And now you can draw. So now I'm going to draw this line where I think I see eight objects up here with the soccer balls. Okay. And I'm going to do that again. Click drawing and I'm going to pick my color. This time I'm going to pick green. Click drawing again and I'm going to try to match this. Okay, so let's say I go here like this. So I realized that I actually made a mistake here. There's not actually six rockets there where I drew the green line. So to erase that, you can click the eraser, and there's two options for the eraser. Right now it's on shapes. If I click that, it says drawings and shapes. So that's what I want. And now if I just click the green line, it should disappear. Now I can go back to drawing. I'm still on the green line. Now I can draw the correct line to the object. If you need to add some text, you can add a text box. This assignment we don't need to, but you can add a text and change the size of the font with the text box. So all you have to do is click on text box, and let me just put it at the top here. I'm going to put it right here so we can see it. I can start typing some text here. I don't really need this for this assignment, so I'm going to go down to the eraser, and now I'm going to click on all annotations. Annotations means text. So I just erase that. Okay, now that we're all finished with our assignment, the last step is to go to the top and click on turn in. Once you click turn in one time, another box will pop up. Now you want to click turn in one more time and you should see it turn a little bit lighter in color. Now that we click turn in, you are done with this assignment. So you can go up to the upper left hand corner and you see the word done. I'm going to click on done. Now it takes us back to Google Classroom to the assignment. Now I can go down to the bottom arrow and click that arrow. And now I want to hit this turn in button here in gray. I'm going to click that. And now you want to also click turn in one more time. 
Now if you look at the upper right hand corner, it says turned in. And I know that now I'm done and my teacher will see my assignment. So I'm gonna go over here to the back arrow in the upper left hand corner. And here I am, I'm back in my classroom. In week five, I have one more example to show you. I'm gonna click that Kami example number two next. For this example, notice how there are no attachments in the center of the screen. I'm gonna go down to the bottom and click the up arrow. So if you see this in your assignment and there are, there's no link to open it with Kami, then you wanna click on the PDF that's red at the top. I'm gonna to click that and it will open up the assignment. But this time, you notice it doesn't open in Kami. So if you get an assignment like this from your teacher, the best way for you to fill it out would be to go to the upper right hand corner to the pencil, click that, and now it will reopen and down at the very bottom you have a menu where you can take a look at different markers, erasers, and text. So I'm on a marker right here. If I click that, it now pops open and shows me different sizes that I can write with. So now I would just choose that. I would click the marker one more time for it to go away. And now I would just try to match these to the correct spots. I can change my colors by going back down here to the bottom. And I would keep filling this out until I was done. This time if you make a mistake, you can click the eraser down here at the bottom next to the marker on the left and you can go up here and fix it by clicking the line and I realize that this is a mistake right here for the number seven. I'm going to click that. My lines disappeared. So now I can go back to my marker at the bottom, choose my color, and I can make the correction. So I realize that this is seven up here and I should have this be number eight. Okay, when you're done with this kind of assignment, you would go up to the upper right hand corner and hit save. And at the bottom it should say document saved. Now I can close it with the X at the upper left hand corner. And then notice now the file at the top where it says PDF in red, it now says edited. And then it should have your name and then the name of the file. So I know now that this is completed. I edited this and I can turn it into my teacher. So I just hit the gray turn in button. I'm gonna hit it one more time. And now for this assignment, I'm done. If I go back to my classroom, I notice now that those are grayed out. Kami example number two and Kami example number one with links, they're both gray. And so those assignments are complete. So as you could see in this video, there really are two ways that you could fill out one of these types of assignments. It depends on how your teacher sets up that assignment. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it helped you understand how to fill out a Kami assignment on your iPad. If you have any more questions or you get confused as you try to fill out a Kami assignment, you can always email me with questions at kbollendorf at fleetwoodasd.org or you can email your teacher and tell them your problem and your teacher can contact me. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.